Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Minecraft Furniture Mod for version 1.7.10. And the first thing you want to do is go to this website right here, and once you're here, click on Mods. Scroll down to Furniture Mod, and click on View Page, and you should see this right here, Press Download Mods. And then scroll down, and then click on version 1.7.10 right here. Press Download. And you should be sent an AdFly link, which you wait five seconds for the download to appear. So here you go. Uh, skip ad. Save. Open the folder. And let's drag it to our desktop right here. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to download um, Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge. And once you're here, you want to download version 1.7.10 so hover over this 1.7 version right here click on 1.7.10 and now you want to click on this little windows tool here or icon and wait six seconds there you go skip save and once that is done drag this to your desktop as well there you go. So let's drag that to our desktop. There you go. Now that we have everything downloaded, what you need to do now is you want to type, press the Windows key, type in run, and this box should appear. And you want to type in percent app data percent, press OK. And you should get this roaming folder called, and you should see a little dot Minecraft in here. And this is your Minecraft folder that like holds everything in your Minecraft, the servers, your worlds. So what you want to do is you want to delete this. But if you really don't want to lose any of your saves or servers, just um, make a backup of it. So just copy it and make a backup. So now right click it and delete it. Now once you did that, open up Minecraft. And you want to type in your information. Sorry for my loud, obnoxious keyboard. Play game. And it will download the .minecraft folder all over again. So what this is doing is just cleaning your, your Minecraft so we can install the mod properly. But now, uh, while this downloads, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be right back. Here we go, everybody, and now that we have finished it, uh, you want to close your Minecraft, and you should see you have a new dot .minecraft folder. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up Minecraft one, once more, and when this opens, you should see profile here. You should see your profile. Click on edit profile, and you want to launch the version 1.7.10, save game, and play. Now that you did that, you want to launch it which will take a second here and there you go now you have launched it uh, version 1.7.10 you want to quit the game and open up forage and when this opens up press install client and then press ok and this will take a minute here to install so I'll be right back hello everyone we have finished and you should see this little thing pop up here it says complete and you'll press OK, and you want to open up your dot Minecraft folder, and you should see. Oh, uh, not yet. I almost forgot. So open up Minecraft once again, and here you should see a new Forge folder here in, in the profiles. So when you click on profiles, you should see Forge, and click on that, and play. There we go. So you should see three mods loaded, three mods active, and here you go. It has worked. We have installed it. Good job. And now in your dot Minecraft folder, you should see a mods folder here that it gave you. you this is where you want to drag and drop the dot drawer or the mod itself. And there you go. You have installed the furniture mod. So open up Minecraft again, and you're good to go. And make sure when you open this up that it is on Forge, the profile is still on Forge, and just play game, and you'll see if it worked.
There you go, four mods loaded. You can disable it, the mod, pretty cool. So, um, turn down the volume here. Alright, so let's go to single player, see if it worked. Achievement, you've been installed, nice. So it worked, and we have furniture and everything. Have ourselves a computer, and um, oof. All right, so yeah, guys, that is how you do it. Um, I will provide the links of the website in the description. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about the installation, if it didn't work for you, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about the mod itself, uh, there is a website for that, and I'll provide in the link in the description. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.